All right, uh, what's up everybody? Today in this video, it's going to be a shorter video and more of a uh, kind of a rant almost. So first off, just to explain what I'm gonna be talking about, I think the Rapier is too OP right now. I think it's becoming way too broken and specifically when it comes to the new expansion where they're changing Flurry to make it have invulnerability. Now, that is obviously pretty extreme, right? And I tested on the PTR, so the way it works is, uh, I unfortunately don't have gameplay of it, but you're gonna be using Flurry at about, I don't know, 0.2 to 0.5 seconds after you press the button for Flurry, you're going to gain invulnerability. Okay, so there is a delay to it, but the thing is that Flurry will already do damage and a pretty significant amount of it at that. And it will also give you health when you have Leeching Flurry, okay? So now it's free to use Flurry and you will gain health from doing it and you will have zero risk involved when you use Flurry. That is OP. As far as I know, there is no other ability or weapon that basically you can use to do damage and you cannot be punished for using it because you have iframes so you have basically zero risk when you use flurry not to mention the fact that you can actually cancel flurry with a dodge with an evade or a repost so there is extremely low risk for using this ability and you will gain health from it there is just so much going for this ability now and basically they've been buffing this this ability for the past i don't know a couple months now um so just to explain the the recent patch before the expansion they made flurry have grit so you can see my character kind of lights up gray white at the uh the edges of my character that means it has grit so if we look actually at the rapier itself it will say this ability has grit so you cannot be interrupted by most abilities except for you know the major CC abilities like Shockwave, Warhammer, but that's PvP oriented. Uh, by the way, I'll be specifically talking about PvE when it comes to this, so obviously it might differ slightly when it comes to PvP aspects of this game. But anyways, like I was saying, you have Grit, you have Sustain, and also the other buff from the last patch was that it can track enemies so you can use this ability and it will kind of follow the enemy that you're looking at that is so so strong uh on its own and now that it has invulnerability i really don't see any other weapon beating this build at all like even the bleed rapier i i don't see the bleed rapier beating this weapon it could actually the bleed now that i think about it the Bleed Rapier actually could start outperforming the, the Repose build that I use, only if someone can get really good with this weapon to really understand where those iframes start and end for Flurry. So it would come down to understanding that time window, uh, and that will allow someone who uh, is doing a lot of damage with Bleed Rapier, uh, who can take aggro and also survive uh, by utilizing the, that iframe window and it also allows for a bleed build to um, to actually take with with this uh, weapon without using repose because you can use flurry it's basically you know it's an iframe so it's going to be pretty much identical to a repose or an evade but now it's going to do damage and also give you health so yeah there's just there's just so much going for flurry I don't understand why they're buffing it again it makes zero sense to me I don't know what statistics they're going off of I'm sure they have um, you know some statistic they're going off of but if you look at the rapier I would say most people use flurry like if you're using the bleed build you're you're most likely running Tondo F and F and flurry right so these three you're most likely running I could potentially see Tondo F and F and evade um, as another option, I know potentially you could use Repost instead of Flurry, but most people use Flurry when they use the Rapier because it's just so strong, especially nowadays. And given the fact that in the expansion update, 
you're going to have invulnerability on it. I mean, it just, it's broken. Like, I truly believe this is broken. And I hate to say it because obviously I love the weapon. I've been using the rapier for a long time. And obviously I don't want it to be nerfed. I would love to use this weapon in its glorious form that it's going to become where it's super, super OP. But it's, it's just broken. Like, there is no other weapon that can compete with the rapier, let alone the, the build that I use, which is evade iframe. It gives him power. It gives haste on a dodge. And then you have repost, which can rend. It can give him power. It will reduce cooldowns. Like, there's so much for it. And also you have a dodge, which obviously every other build does, but that's just another thing. And then flurry which is now extremely OP. It's a sustain, it gives you health, it has grit, it tracks enemies. It now will have invulnerability. So there's zero risk for all abilities in this build. Evade, zero risk, it's an iframe. Repose, zero risk, it's an iframe and a stun and a rend applying machine. And you can evade cancel it, so you have like, I don't know, fucking three to four seconds of iframes just from that. And now you can mix in Flurry, which is also going to be an iframe, and it's a sustain. I know I've repeated myself a few times. I, I know. This is more of a rant of a video. So yeah. Like, all I want to say in this video is that I think the rapier is too broken, and hopefully they revert the change that adds invulnerability to Flurry, because that is too far. The weapon is already, you know, beating every other weapon by you know, thousands of DPS value. If you look at, um, you know, actual DPS tests that people have ran with all the weapons, the rapier outperforms every other weapon by a lot, a significant margin. And now you're going to have invulnerability on flurry. It just makes zero sense. Anyways, I, I don't want to carry on too long. So I hope they revert the change. That's all I'll say. I hope they remove invulnerability on Flurry because that is too extreme. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be making a all-encompassing repost build for the Rapier on the expansion. It will be as good as you can get, so subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys later.